Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk greatness. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now we all have our own idea of what greatness is. For me, greatness is when a fighter is fighting really good opposition and the guy is just playing his game. He's just being himself, right? He's not super hyped up. He's just showing you what he has. And as you look at him, right, just be himself. You think to yourself, my goodness, this guy is far better than his opponent. <laughs> You start to say to yourself, whoa, wait a moment. I thought the opponent, in this case, Arturo Gatti, was a Hall of Famer. Folks, he's in the Hall of Fame. I thought Arturo Gatti, when he wanted to raise room temperature, when he wanted to come after you, could land a lot of punches, could corner you, could force you to fight him. I thought that a Gotti opponent couldn't go hunting for Gotti and be so precise, so precise that Gotti can barely hit him while the guy is hurting Gotti. For me, one of the great rounds I've seen in my life is round six of the Floyd Mayweather versus Arturo Gotti fight. As longtime subscribers here online know, I never thought Manny Pacquiao, even in his heyday, had a shot against Floyd Mayweather. Right? I had to laugh when people would come up to me and say, hey, Mayweather doesn't knock anyone down. There's a ridiculous ad right now on Fox Sports where Jason Whitlock, who should know better, is talking about how when you go to a fight, you want to see someone fall. Now, now, let me just say, I could easily have played Mayweather's destruction of Diego Corrales. But you could tell on that night, Mayweather had something to prove. You understood on that night, Mayweather was determined to take away Corrales' unbeaten record and to do it with gusto. The reason why this Arturo Gotti film is far scarier to me, it's far scarier, is because Mayweather just looks like he is trying to dot the I's and cross the T's. Right? Mayweather, simply put, knows he's better than Gotti. He knows privately that Gotti has no business being in the ring with him. He even tells Gotti that before the fight, right? Mayweather's trash talking with Gotti and Mayweather tells him, look, I'm going to slap you in the face and you're not going to do a thing about it. So then, of course, the fight takes place. And understand, it's not just Mayweather who understands that Hall of Famer Gotti has no business being in the ring with him. Just like this car out here has no business ruining this video, right? I want you to look at the Black Mamba, Roger Mayweather, Mayweather's trainer, right? Folks, they're practically laughing in the Mayweather corner, right? For them, this is almost like an exhibition. Understand, he's fighting a Hall of Fame fighter. This is the same opponent who fought Mickey Ward, blood and guts. How many fights have you seen where Arturo Gatti can't land 20 punches in a round? Well, folks, I'm about to show you round six of one such fight. The talent gap is so big. It's practically the Grand Canyon. Right? I know Mayweather has his critics 
let's just say Prime Mayweather, in my opinion, is the best fighter of the last 20 years. Right? What I want you to do is to count the punches that Arturo Gatti lands in the fight. Understand, Gatti starts the round on his front foot. He's looking for Floyd Mayweather. Right? Count the punches that Arturo Gatti lands in the round. Also, I know Mayweather is great defensively. Right? What I want you to do is to just count the number of flush power shots Mayweather is landing on Gotti. I'm going to let the original audio run. So you'll actually hear people like Roy Jones Jr., a great fighter himself, talking about what he is seeing. Judge for yourself whether the commentators for the fight think it's a competitive fight. They kind of give you an inkling at the very beginning. I'm going to let the very end of round five finish. Then you'll hear what's said between rounds five and round six. Then you're going to see Mayweather in round six. Understand, <laughs> at one point, people thought Conor McGregor, a non-boxer in his first professional boxing match, had a shot on Floyd Mayweather. Folks, you've, you've got to be kidding me. Understand, too, Gotti, before this fight, talked about how he was going to land so many punches on Ray's, excuse me, on Floyd's shoulder, that Floyd's defense, where he hides his head behind his shoulder, was going to fall apart. What I also want you to see is one of the best left hooks I've ever seen. Folks, it's hair trigger right Joe Fraser would be impressed by Floyd Mayweather's left hook I'm just gonna let the round play I'm just gonna let the commentators at the fight talk this for me is one of the best rounds I have seen in the sport of boxing I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. At this rate, the question is, how long will Arturo be able to see Mayweather's punch is coming, if in fact he still can? Not much longer. You hear me? You're not moving your head. Okay, what's the matter? Talk to me, baby. I told y'all, he don't get his ass whooped. Hey, On HBO. Punch that ass. Punch that ass. Who's the one with it? He did now. Here you see that, like we said earlier, one straight right hand. Jab, jab, another straight right hand. Another hook. I mean, just five or six punch combinations at a time. Got it, can't do nothing about it. Totally a mismatch on, mismatch on hand speed. Totally a bad fight for Tio Gatto, which I said from the get-go. But let's see what happens. Again, I don't know when I've seen more one-sided punch stat numbers. Gatti has landed 8 out of 47 power punches thrown through the fifth round. Mayweather's landed 81 of 141. So every time Floyd lands power punches in bunches, he is putting greater distance between himself and Arturo Gatti. Mayweather wearing winning gloves, an Asian-made glove with Emmanuel Stewart called pillows on our air. He thinks they'll help protect his brittle hands, which have oft been broken in the past. Gaddy's wearing Everlast, the conventional brand. He breaks his right hand virtually every time he fights. In case you're wondering whether Mayweather will get tired, he sometimes spars 10 or 15 minute rounds with different sparring partners moving in to increase his stamina. Too much hands. Oh, by the shot. By the shot. Hurt, hurt, hurt to a real bad. Had him, yeah. By the shot, throws it to Buddy McGirt keeps telling Gaddy not to worry. I'm wondering if he shouldn't throw in the towel. Yeah, by the shot, hurt him real bad, man.
This is humiliating. Floyd Mayweather promised exactly this. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. I can't understand who wouldn't see this, though, before it happened. Much of the crowd is on its feet in awe of the display that Mayweather's putting forth. How in the world can Gatti keep taking it? We didn't stop this because he's done. The mass middle Roy Jones passed on the fight. And I mean, just I one guy totally out of pants. Not going to land the punch because he's Floyd. not fast enough to put the big punch on Floyd Mayweather. Continue. 